Hello fellow designers and crafters. Welcome to part 4 of our series on creating a 3D layered mandala. In the previous video, we exported the mandala design in various cut file formats. Now, in this exciting video, I'll demonstrate how to transform the SVG file into a 3D model using a free software called Blender. To begin let's import the stacked layers version of the SVG file into Blender. Open Blender and navigate to the file menu. Select Import, and then choose SVG. Browse for the stacked layers SVG file on your computer, and click Import to bring it into Blender. To get a better view of the SVG file, you can use the middle mouse wheel button to zoom in and out within the Blender workspace. Furthermore, to navigate and rotate around the design, you can press and hold the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. This action allows you to freely explore the 3D model from different angles and perspectives. For your convenience, I will activate the shortcuts display feature in the bottom right corner of the Blender interface. This way, you can easily see the buttons I press during the demonstration, making it simpler to follow along with the workflow. To adjust the positioning of each layer, we'll utilize the Move tool in Blender. The Move tool is represented by a plus symbol with arrows. Follow these steps to spread out the layers. Select the Move tool from the toolbar. Choose the first layer and move it upwards, creating space between the layers. You can click and drag the layer using the Move tool. Repeat this process for each subsequent layer, moving them up individually to achieve the desired spacing and depth. Select the first layer of the mandala. Look for the Object Data Properties panel, represented by a green path symbol. In the Object Data Properties panel, locate the Resolution option and change it to 32. This increases the resolution of the shape, resulting in smoother edges and reducing any jaggedness. Next, let's modify the extrude settings to add thickness to the shape. In the same Object Data Properties panel, find the Geometry section. Look for the Extrude option and change the value from 0 to 3 mm 2. This extrusion value gives the shape a thickness of 3 mm, resembling the thickness of MDF. Feel free to adjust this value based on the desired material thickness you're working with. For instance, if you're using cardboard, you can opt for a thinner extrusion. Select the first layer of the mandala. Press the letter A to select all layers in the scene. Right-click on the resolution number in the Object Data Properties panel and choose Copy to select it. This action copies the resolution value from the first layer to all selected layers. Repeat the same process for the extrusion value. Right-click on the extrude number in the Object Data Properties panel and select Copy to select it. If you go into edit mode, you will see that we have paths that have the extruded effect. To obtain actual geometry and faces, you need to convert it to a mesh. With all layers selected, right-click then choose Convert to Mesh. In edit mode, you can now observe all the edges and faces of the meshed mandala layers. If you'd like to enhance the visual appearance of the faces, you can select all the geometry by pressing the letter A, and then proceed to beautify the faces. The Beautify Faces function smooths out the shading and appearance of the faces, resulting in a more visually pleasing representation of the 3D model. Now you have the flexibility to move each layer to your preferred distance. You can select individual layers and use the Move tool to adjust their positions in the 3D space. To gain a side view perspective, press the numpad 1 key. This allows you to examine the layers from a different angle, giving you a better sense of their positions and spacing. Depending on your desired outcome, you can leave some space between layers to simulate the effect of foam dots when working with materials like cardboard. This adds depth and visual interest to the design. On the other hand, if you're laser cutting the mandala, you may prefer to align each layer directly on top of the other, creating a clean and precise stacked effect.
If you go to the export settings, you have the option to export the file in different formats such as OBJ, FBX, or Kaleida. In my case, I am using Kaleida, and in the next video, I will demonstrate how to use this 3D model to create a realistic 3D mandala. However, you can achieve the same result in Blender by adding materials, lights, and rendering. Personally, I prefer using a dedicated rendering program like Maverick Studio because it allows me to easily drag and drop materials and lights, saving me a lot of time. Keep watching, and if you find this content helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.